Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here I have for you today is the High Grade Build Divers Gundam GN Ultron. So this is Tiger Wolf's mobile suit, uh, essentially, you know, he pilots a modified Ultron uh, mobile suit, so I, you know, instantly I love it because I love Ultron, it's one of my top favorite mobile suits uh, in all of Gundam. Um, so this was really awesome to, uh, to, you know, go ahead and witness in the show, uh, because I just don't see too much of like Nataku, Shenlong, Ultron, whatever you want to call it, um, have any kind of like really good limelight in any form of media. Um, so it's really good to see it. Um, I do have some kind of like opinions about the kit, um, well at least the design wise, um, but let's just go ahead and take a look at the box. All right, so taking a look at the box, uh, the cover art looks pretty good. Uh, overall, I think it looks uh, pretty dynamic. Uh, the background is basically where the dojo is, is located. It's kind of like in a mountainy, uh, you know, desert area. So pretty, pretty cool overall. Uh, the stance is not too bad at all as well. Um, so as you can see, uh, high grade build divers and all the information right here at the bottom. Now this kit did come out in 2018 and uh, July of 2018 at that. This is number 11, the high grade build divers line. And it retails for 1,800 yen. Okay, so looking at this side, basically you're just going to see the tw uh, twin GN fangs. Um, you know, I, I never actually knew what they, they would call that. Like, I, I just call them like dragon heads. Uh, I don't know if this is the same name as the Ultrons in the uh, Gunna Wing universe. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to get as far as uh, some of its weapons is going to be the uh, the twin dragon heads. Okay, and next they're gonna pretty much point out the uh, the little flamethrowers on the side of the dragon's uh, face, uh, which are called the Soryu Korean Sor Korean Korean. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I definitely butchered that as much as I as, as much as I could have uh, But yeah, and it's also gonna have wings on the back which are pretty cool And uh, one thing I really didn't notice was that it actually has um, these little like GN breakers um, I, I don't know that's kind of weird. It's kind of it's a, a lot like the the red beret You know when it comes to those little scissors on the uh, the feet so that's pretty cool But I don't really see much functionality in that and then lastly, you're going to have the wolf can and tiger can. So um, basically, these are the things I'm not really too fond of. I think they look kind of goofy and just out of place on the suit. Uh, but sure, you know, it's, you know, tiger, uh, tiger wolf and, you know, he has to have a tiger and wolf, I guess. And then over here, they kind of just show you all like the little uh, add-on weapons that you can, you know, pretty much put onto your mobile suit. I actually do like these little binder guns right there. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews on those and it looks pretty decent, uh, but I'm still not, you know, going to go ahead and buy it. And over here you just see a front and rear shot of it with a little brief description of the mobile suit itself. And here's everything that's going to come with 11 runners, 2 polycap sheets, and a sticker sheet. So the first runner I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all about is going to be uh, the only runner in the entire kit that is not 100% uh, original. This is the Wing Gundam, uh, like pretty much the one from 2013, uh, that runner. Um, you know. I guess they share the same frame as far as most uh, wingsuits, so uh, this kind of does make sense. I, I'm not even gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that uh, there was gonna be a Ultron, like, just an Ultron runner that said, like, 2018, that would've been pretty awesome. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. I think maybe in the future we might get an Ultron, um, you know, Gundam uh, high grade, which would be fantastic. But in the meantime, uh, I'm pretty much happy with all this. So as you can see, like, it basically just has all, like, the little inner frames, and you can imagine, like, the guns is not gonna be used, uh, but probably most of, like, the legs and arms and hands is all gonna be used. Okay, next is gonna be runner C1. Uh, so this runner is basically going to be the wolf, um, uh, it looks pretty good. It has some nice little details inside there for like the little whiskers. And then you get the, this part right here, which is basically going to be for the ears and the top of the head. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much about this runner. Next, we're going to get a black runner, which is going to be runner C2. Uh, this is going to have the shield, the feet, uh, looks like the chest right there. And this is going to be part of the waist. Uh, waist, well, I guess it's more torso than the waist parts right there. Next, we're getting is two runner Fs. Uh, so I don't really know. I think this is just going to be parts for the uh, the extension of the arms, uh, and that looks like it's going to be about it. And next we get runner B1 and B2. Uh, so all this is, is going to be parts for like the legs. We got the the little front skirts, parts of the arms. Uh, this is going to be parts for the legs, I believe. Uh, not really too. There's parts for the legs, ankles. So just random parts, uh, kind of sorted all over. And let's get runner A1 and A2. So this is a pretty nice little looking green. Um, you know, it's kind of like the same color as you would expect. Uh, but you get the little dragon heads right over here. Uh, 
this looks like it's gonna be parts for the uh, the wings, like the little backpack attachment, uh, and then parts for the arms. You get the body, back skirt, waist, so on and so forth. Uh, but everything pretty much looks pretty good. And lastly, you're gonna have D1 and D2. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of the yellow. Uh, not really too fond of like. I don't know, I thought this was supposed to be gold, uh, but I guess not. Now that I'm kind of looking at it uh, on the illustration, it does look more yellow. Um, but, you know, hey, it kind of is what it is. Uh, you get the tiger parts right there. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty decent overall. You get part of the shield. So this is, I'm going to have to paint that because I think this is supposed to be black or, or gray. So uh, this little part is going to have to get painted. And obviously, uh, actually the trimming, no, this is all yellow. So I, I thought, I, I, thought I, I would have to mask and paint this, but... Uh, that's going to be pretty much good to go. Uh, and then you get the dragon uh, fangs right here, and parts for the leg as well as the wing right there. You get two poly cap sheets, and you can get a little sticker sheet right here. Uh, so overall, the sticker sheet is it's pretty riddled with a lot of uh, stickers. But look, okay, so this I have no idea. I think this is a uh, yeah, this is a part of the crown. Uh, this is going to be parts for the head right there, um, and then all this. I think this whole entire section uh, in this little area is basically basically going to be for like the dragon uh heads right here this is going to be for the uh, lion and tiger oh not the lion the wolf and tiger these going to be parts for the whiskers more whisker parts uh now these gray parts i think these are going to be for the shield i think this is for the shield and this i'm not really too sure uh, but a lot of this just easily uh can be painted so i'm not really fretting too much uh, more likely i'm not going to have to use this uh sheet at all i'm just going to go ahead and paint the entire parts myself and then what's included with the uh, kit, you get like some advertisement for a new gun breaker. Uh, haven't played it yet, but not really even really plan on playing it. Battle Operation 2, never played it. Uh, then next you're going to have uh, pretty much like a little, yeah, it's like a little uh, pamphlet. So you got Gundam Base Live uh, and basically some of the kits that you can go ahead and purchase at the Gundam Base Tokyo, which I should be going in August. Uh, and then looking at the front cover of the manual, so basically the same uh, box art, and you get more information right there about uh, Tiger Wolf as well as his mobile suit. So if you want to go ahead and read that right there. And starting on page one, you basically see the construction of the head, body, uh, arms, and you go over to the legs, and you go over to the waist, the backpack. And then you're going to have a color guide of more of like the weapons and everything. So uh, yeah, basically, oh, so those other two stickers right there are going to be for the, uh, the shield. Um, but yeah, that just kind of shows you the functionality of the dragon hands as well as uh, the tiger wolf uh, compatibility. And then the last part is going to be this uh, customized plan. So it kind of just you know tells you a little bit about material gun plus so you know tells you about Ultron. Um, yeah, that just kind of tells you some little details about it. So the weaponry uh, gives you some nice little poses. Uh, I don't really mind that pose, but I, I don't know. It's not really too impactful. Uh, this one is probably going to be one of the ones I want to showcase. I think it looks pretty dope. Uh, but I do have a lot of different poses in mine. But that's it, guys. So, uh, how, you know, what do you think about the kit? Um, I don't know if any, any of you have built it yet. It just came out this past weekend. But uh, are any of you planning to buy it or are you kind of just waiting for the reviews? Definitely let, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm hoping to have this completed by the end of this upcoming weekend. But the Astray No Name is coming out this Friday, which I, I honestly did not know until like yesterday. Uh, so that is going to be a kit I'm going to go ahead and buy and build immediately. So I don't know when, when I'm going to finish this because I'm still building the uh, Nightingale. So if I can go ahead and finish that Nightingale off fairly soon, then I can go ahead and move on to this as well as the Astray No Name and then um, get these reviews out for you guys. But I would just say expect this, uh, the review for this to be done for next week. But other than that, guys, I will see you all later in the next review. Bye-bye.